Hey guys, it's Scarlett at Build Across, and today I'm going to show you how I paint this Christmas Jeep paint my line. I'm going to go in first with the color Limeade by Dixie Belle, and I'm going to base coat the body of the Jeep. All the colors I'll be using today are Dixie Belle chalk paints. So if you would like to check those out or purchase one of those, or purchase one of these cutouts, you can check them out on our website, buildacross.com. I'm going in now with the color The Gulf, and I'm painting the back glass. As you can tell, I kind of kept this truck to like brighter Christmas colors. It's brighter green, and I'll be using a little bit brighter red. Here is the Honky Tonk Red, and it's definitely the brighter red of the two that I use. Um, just because it's, for me, like it being a Jeep, it's kind of uh, fun. So I wanted to keep it bright and fun um, when I was choosing my colors. I'm going in now with the color um, Hurricane Gray. And I'm just going to paint the center of the tire and also the bumper area. And I'm also going in and just doing this little um, contraption that holds the tires. You probably know better than I do what it's called. I'm not positive. And then I'm going to go in with the color um, Savannah Mist, and I'm going to paint the lights. Now I'm just going in with a little bit of the color Cotton, which is Dixie Belle's Whitest White, and I'm going to paint the fur on the Santa hat. And next I'm going to go in with some black, and I'm going to paint the tires. Of course, if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to let us know below in the comments or send us a message, um, and we are happy to get back with you and answer any questions you may have uh, to the best we can. I'm going to go in now with a little bit of that honky tonk red, which is the brighter red that I use, and I'm going to highlight um, here and there um, on my cutout, and I'm going to avoid highlighting directly on top of where the lines are etched into this cutout because I'm going to go back later and um, outline all of that. So I'm going to leave those clean. But whenever I'm highlighting, I like to just um, hit the product here and there and follow the natural shape of the cutout. I don't want to just go in um, and make random lines because that can look messy. So just follow the cutout um, and it helps to give it a more uniform look. I did the same thing with the white and just highlighted the tire and my little signs and the back glass. And as well, I went in and did the little squiggle marks with the Hurricane Gray on the tires on the bottom to kind of give them some tread marks. And now I've let everything dry completely. And I'm going in with my Sharpie brush stroke marker and outlining everything. Of course, this is a paint by line, which means that all of these lines have been etched into the cutout by our machine. So I'm able to kind of just let my Sharpie marker kind of fall into those grooves. It kind of helps to keep my hands steady. Um, and it makes this so easy because you're not outlining with a paintbrush. But of course, if you prefer a paintbrush, that's totally fine. I would recommend um, a number zero round and some watered down black paint, and that will work as well. Um, but this marker makes super clean lines, so of course, I like to show it to you guys. And I believe these markers were actually originally created for calligraphy. So I'll also be using them to go in and write um, little different like direction points um, on this sign. And I'll be doing um, one point to the North Pole. Um, and then the one on the bottom is also pointing the same way. And I'm going to put Santa's Workshop on it, of course, because um, the North Pole and Santa's Workshop are in the same place. So I tried to think about like what's logical as well. And then I did one that's a uh, home sweet home because of course you're probably gonna be hanging this on your front door. So I think it's really cute to go in and have the little home sweet home on it as well. Um, I really feel like the writing just makes this cut out. I love the black against all these bright colors. Um, of course, if you would prefer to go in with some vinyl, you totally can do that. Just make sure products completely dry before doing that. Um, and um, that is so easy and it's a really fun product. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Make sure to let me know what you think and have a wonderful day.